In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create array lists and how to traverse them using for and for each loops. So here's your basic structure of a program. And so inside my main, I'm going to create an array list and put some songs in it, array list of songs. And then we'll print them out using a for and for each loops. So array list array list string. So what this line of code does is it creates an array list, and an array list is like an array, except it can only hold objects. So here I tell it what kind of object it's going to hold. It's going to hold strings. The name of the array list is songs, and the new is actually the creation of the, of the actual array list that can hold the strings. So this could be capital I integer for the integers, wrapper class, it could be robots, it could be uh, animals, it could be chess pieces, but it, they have to be objects. In order to use array list, I have to actually import the array list uh, from java.util.arraylist uh, at the beginning. It's a uh, import statement that brings in the array list code, so it already exists. And I'm going to add a couple songs, so I'm going to go with journey songs.add. Now with arrays, you use the bracket notation. There's no bracket notation with array list. They're all methods. So one of the methods is called to add. Um, I'm going to add Faithfully, songs add don't stop leaving. And when an array list is initially created, it actually has zero size. So as I add one of these individually, I'm going to increase its size by one, or the array list increases its size by one, so that uh, it dynamically. Um, uh, resizes and knows its own size and I'll say anyway you want it all right so I've added three songs um, so now just to see if it works I'm gonna print it out just like an array I can use a four or four each loop so I'm gonna take a look at how that's done so I'll say four int I'll use the word index again equals zero so array let's use the zero notation for the beginning and I'll say index less than and just as arrays knew their length with the dot length, or array lists also know it, but they know it with dot size. Index plus plus. And then I'm going to have a system dot out dot print line statement here. System dot out dot print line. Now, as we said earlier, there are no brackets with array list, and that's how we use to access information in arrays. So how do you get the information out of an array list? Well, there's actually a method, a getter, called get, so we'll say songs dot, dot get the index one. So when index is zero, It'll put zero here and get the zeroth one, which is the song. It'll get the first and second. And the size here is the size of the array, in which case this is size, the size is three. And um, let's run it. Let's compile. And let's run it. And so there you go, there's the three of them. And if I were to add one more, songs.add. We'll go with uh, the songs that size would adjust. We'd add to the end, and the code should work. There you go. We can also do this with a for each loop. So I'll go in a little bit here and use a for each loop. So I'll say, uh, just so I get some separation here, system dot out dot print line. So for each string S, which represents a song in songs,
for each string s in the ArrayList songs, what I want to do, I'm going to system dot out dot print line. And now because s is the song extracting the first song faithfully out of the array list, I don't need to use a getter. I can just say s. I don't need to get anything. This actually gets it for me. This would work for an array or an array list. So we don't need a get uh, method here. Compile, no errors. Yeah, let's run it. And there we go. Now we're using the for each loop, I get the same songs. So in this video, we talked about how to create an array list. And we looked at two of uh, the most common methods here, add and uh, size. And we looked at how to traverse it with a for and for each loop.